Flash Sports Tonight is brought to you by Rome Gain. When your stash just doesn't connect to your goot, use Rome Gain. MidwestSportsFans.com, the sports blog by and for Midwest sports fans. National Lampoon, bringing you quality family entertainment since never. Salutations, sports fans, and welcome to Flash Sports tonight. He's Jock, I'm drunk, and it's great to be back online. Holy crab tree. We start our show off tonight with one of our favorite segments, Sports Boobs. Anytime someone does something stupid to cost their team the game or the season, we highlight their misfortune and pile on the humiliation. Our very own Vinny Tresolini and Anita Balzac have their usual inside scoop on the biggest boobs in sports. And it's not Maria Sharapova. No, but oh, oh, she is super hot. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Vinny, where exactly were you when the Plaxico Burris shooting went down? Thanks, jerk. First off, Plexico Burris was suspended and could face jail time for carrying a loaded weapon illegally. Y'all know the freaking story. He was at a club. His gun went off. Caught him in the leg. He's a dumbass. Blah, blah, blah. And then his boy Antonio Pierce did the right thing and helped him cover it up. Yes, Vinny, we already know that. Can you add anything? Yeah, you're an ass clown. Quit interrupting. The part that hasn't been told is that the gun did not go off accidentally. <laughs> it was aimed at Rondé Barber's gay twin, Tiki Barber. What? That's right, jerk. Ever since he ran his mouth last year about how much Eli and the team sucked before they went on that run to the Super Bowl, he's been the G-Men's doghouse. He's been pulling out all the stops to get back in their good graces. He's been sucking the Giants' hangdowns figuratively on NBC. Why not try it literally in the NYC? Plaxico caught Tiki Barbie under the table flipping his bingo bango, and he did what any one of us would do. Ejaculated. Exactly. Then he went for his gun. Like you, Doc, Plax was a little tipsy and he shot his own leg. Scared the hell out of Tiki. You should have seen the look on his ugly mug. <laughs> yeah, right. Great, Vinny. Do you have any evidence of this? Yeah, I got it all in my Blackberry Storm. This thing's freaking awesome. Vinny's got the scoop. Scooby doo up, boo bay Hey, 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 Oh, oh. What the fuck? Oh! 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 What a freaking dumbass. I mean, couldn't you use the safety? Every illegal gun carrying person knows if you're reaching in your pants for your piece, you gotta be quick but careful to make sure that you. Uh. Uh, yeah, well, I take that back. Uh, it could happen to anybody. He's not a sports boo. Back to you. Take him to a freaking hospital. What a thug. Harris, put that gun in that girl's purse. Thanks, Vinny. As always, breaking the stories that no one else will report. Moving on, let's go out to our very own succulent smackerel of sexiness, Anita Balsack. She's live in Columbus, Ohio with Ohio State head coach Woody Hayes. Ugh, Doc, he died in 1986. Wait a second, what day is it? Ha <laughs> ha, a good one, Doc. <laughs> Anita, are you there? Thanks, Jock. I'm reporting live from Miami, the location of the real sports boob this month, the BCS title game. As usual, the college football season had its share of upsets and controversy throughout the year. With seven legit one-loss teams fighting for the top two BCS spots, the Florida-Oklahoma selection has caused quite a stir in college football. So I caught up with USC coach Pete Carroll and Texas coach Mac Brown on the flash phone, and this is what they had to say. Anita, it's not fair. Mac Brown didn't even get a chance to play for the Big 12 championship. And this is after Mac Brown beat Oklahoma. Missouri? Come on, Missouri stinks. <laughs> yeah, and the BCS stinks. We're USC. We're supposed to be in the championship no matter what. I thought that was already the deal. You bastards. You dirty BCS bastards. Yeah, and how the hell did they pick Mac Brown to play Ohio State anyway? Why do we have to play these shitty Big Ten schools? I want to play Texas. And Mac Brown wants to play USC. <laughs> wah, wah. And that's when I hung up on them. So, there you have it, Doc. Nothing can make a grown man cry or piss the country off more than the BCS. Congratulations, BCS. You're officially our sports boob of the week. Doc? Thanks, Anita. As always, your reporting has given me a tremendous boner. Tune in next week when we interview Knicks head coach Mike D'Antoni about his team forfeiting the next two seasons for the chance at LeBron. 
and then I rip his mustache off and kick him in the dick. See you next time, sports fans!